Let's talk about spring fashion. I'm Sheila, I'm a personal stylist, and I help women find the best styles that suit their body shape, their coloring, and their personality so they can dress well with ease. For the best style tips, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell, and you'll be notified every Tuesday when I upload a new video. Today I'm going to give you my top style picks for spring 2022, and I'm going to show you how to wear them. I've chosen seven styles to talk about in this video. There are many more styles that are trending this spring, but I thought I would choose these because these are the ones I think are more wearable. And of course, what we were looking for is wearable styles. Fashion is art. And when you look at the runway, you're going to see a lot of art. So styles are done in an artsy way. Some of them I don't think we really want to wear in public or wear at all. But you can tweak them and there are ways to wear them. Not exactly as they are on the runway, but you'll find that they are in stores, just modified slightly so they can look great on anyone. My first style pick is black and white stripes. So the stripes can be vertical or they can be horizontal. Either they're in style this spring. The best stripe for you will be one that suits your body shape. So stripes have a way that they can make you look larger, they can make you look smaller. So choose stripes that are going in a direction that will be most flattering for you. Also stripes that are in the best color. So you could wear black and white or you could wear a beige and white, or you can wear two different colors of stripes. The thing is, wear stripes so they suit you. Here are some stripes as they look on the runway. There are stripes in dresses, stripes in skirts, and stripes in blouses. So how would you like to wear your stripes? The other thing is you can kind of wear these as color blocking, because they're sort of like color blocking. So Choose a stripe that will be best for you. So let's say you are an oval body shape and you want to wear stripes. Where do you put the stripes? So here are some examples for a dress. If you want to wear stripes, this will be a great way to put stripes in a dress and suit your body shape. If you are a triangle body shape, you could wear stripes like these. Stripes and pants would be great because they would minimize your hips, creating a more balanced look. And if you are an inverted triangle body shape, you could wear those vertical stripes on top. Now, if you want to look larger, you want to create a larger looking bust. If you are a triangle body shape, you could wear the stripe across. So depending on what your shape is, you can wear vertical stripes and use them to your advantage. And you could also use horizontal stripes to your advantage and you can use it as a color blocking. The second style that's trending this spring is cutouts. Now we've seen cutouts before. Last spring they were very popular as well and I can see why they would be. Some of them are a little bit too cut out I guess for me and maybe for you but depending on where you put the cutouts they can be really nice. So as they're seen on the runway, you'll see the cutouts in dresses, you'll see them in tops, you'll see them in all kinds of different ways. Sometimes very revealing, but other times you can wear them. So to make them more wearable, you can wear them in a dress or you can wear them in a top. You can put them wherever you want them to make them most flattering. You can have the waist cut out in a dress, you can have the shoulders cut out, but I think the most or least revealing would be in a top. My third style pick for spring 2020 is the fringe. The fringe reminds me of the 70s, but you don't have to look like you came from the 70s if you wear it. So here it is on the runway. This is the way it looks and you can wear it. It's seen in all different kinds of outfits. You can wear a fringe in a jacket. It can be in a dress, in a handbag, or you can wear it and something as simple as earrings. And that would probably be the easiest way to wear it if you were a bit timid about wearing fringes. You could really make this wearable with a jacket. Choose a jacket with a fringe and then wear it with a basic outfit. You could choose it in your best color and you'll be ready to go. If you wear a fringe and a jacket, it will create more width in a jacket, so you will look larger at on top. So if that's your, what you want, if that's your body shape and you want to look larger on top, a fringe will do it. If you want to bring more interest to the bottom, you can wear a fringe at the bottom in a skirt 
or you can wear it in a handbag if you just want to have a little bit of fringe. Choose a fringe if this is something that you like and choose it in your best style, in your best color and have fun with it. My fourth pick for spring 2022 is a trench coat. The trench coat is something that you'll always be able to wear. It, it's a classic. This season, the trench is a little bit different. You can find them in different styles, kind of a little bit edgy, but you don't have to do that. You can wear just a regular trench and you'll still be fashionable and on trend. So I would choose a trench that is in my best neutral. So you, it will always, it will match everything that you have and that you'll be able to take it from this season to next season or from this spring to next spring and of course to fall. So a trench is always great to have in your wardrobe. Even though the trench is classic, you still have to choose one that's best for you that will suit your body shape. So that means you don't want to have too many details on top if you are in an inverted triangle because that will make you look larger on top. And you also don't want to have too, too many details if you're an oval. So keep in mind your body shape when you're choosing your trench. All trenches aren't equal. Some have more details than others. My fifth fashion pick for spring 2022, bold colors. I love color, as you probably know, and color is great for spring because everything seems to be coming alive in spring, and or it is coming alive, and it is nice to be wearing bold, nice colors. The thing is, Choose a color that is best for you. Now, if you don't like to wear bold colors, you can always wear a color that is a little, not as intense, doesn't have as much intensity, but still in that color. So for example, if a trend is cobalt blue, which it is, but you don't wanna have something that blue, uh, you could wear something a little bit lightest. To make this trend wearable, you can use it as color blocking. So you can wear a bold color on the bottom, a bold color on top, and use some jewelry to pull the look together. Again, if you don't want to wear two bold colors together, you could wear one bold color at the bottom and then wear a lighter one on top or vice versa, however you want to do it. Or you could wear those same two colors in less intensity. When you know your colors, your best colors, then you can use them to mix and match them together and create a beautiful wardrobe with color. Again, if there's a color that you really like, but it isn't great against your face, you could always use that color on the bottom. So you could wear it in a pant or you could wear it as a skirt. You don't have to wear it near your face. My sixth style pick for spring 2022 is yellow. Yellow is beautiful. Yellow is everywhere this spring and you can wear yellow top, a yellow sweater, yellow pants, and you can wear it in your best yellow. So it doesn't matter if you're warm or cool, there is a cool version of yellow and there's a warm version of yellow. So the cool version has more blue undertones and the warm version has more golden undertones. So choose the best yellow for you. Again, if you're wearing it in pants, it won't make this difference because it's near the bottom and it won't be near your face. But if you want to wear yellow near your face, you can make sure you wear the best yellow, your best yellow. So choose a yellow that you really love and yellow, even though it's trending this season, it's not going to go out of style. You can still have it. So it's one of those things. If you buy in a classic, a classic piece, you can have it for a few more seasons. And again, it would even be nice uh, when the next fall comes around to brighten up your other fall colors. My seventh pick for spring 2022 is the body chain. And as you can see, if you're looking at this, you might think, well, I don't want to wear that. It kind of looks like something that's really young and I don't want to bear that much skin, but there are ways you can wear it. So I like the body chain myself, but you can wear it instead of just wearing it on your waist in a bikini, you could wear it over it a dress. So you wear your dress and you wear the body chain as a belt. You can also wear it around your ankle. If you remember a few years ago, ankle chains were very popular. So you could wear it around your ankle or you could wear it around your waist, but just over a dress. 
You could also wear it as a belt on a skirt or a belt on pants. A chain is always easy to incorporate into your wardrobe and you don't have to wear it with a bikini. And the color of the year, the Pantone color of the year is very Perry, which is pretty much lilac. If you like this color, you can wear it near your face if it's flattering for your skin tone, or you can wear it in pants, you can wear it in a top, or you can wear a top and pants together as is shown here. Or if you just want to have a touch of it, you could have it in a pair of shoes. So these are my favorite picks. Let me know down below which trend you'll be wearing this spring. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and keep on styling.